Hello and welcome to, hang on, let me just adjust that slightly, there you go. Welcome to an edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. It is the sixth beer in my Northern Monk subscription box. We've got one beer left. And if you've been following me this week, you'll know exactly where it is. Let's go for it. It's this. Just get rid of this. This is Northern Monk. Patrons Project, House of the Tremble and Madness, double IPA, with sit, uh, Mosaic Incognito, Nelson, Mosaic and Citra, and it's 8%. There yeah, we go. Now, I don't know if this is the first beer in this, in or it's just a, a straight collaboration. It's a one-off. I don't know. Um, there's no reveal on the labels, so it makes me think that it is just a one-off beer. It says the Tremble Madness or Delirium Tre the Tremble Madness or Delirium Tremens, the DTs for short. Um, it's been around since people have been drinking intoxicating liquors. That is very true. I didn't know the DTs for Delirium Tremens. Anyway, um, step step back in time and save yourself from the dreaded um, Gallian distemper. A medieval ale house in in York from the eighteen from the eleven eighties has survived times of uh, of great hardship. Whilst our our craft beer uh, craft beer mansion uh, sits upon a site of a fifteenth century Augustine friary, and has a rich history of house of housing many a celebrity. Stay off the symptoms of a trembling madness for yet another day. Time to eat and drink, and time to live the madness way. Beer merchants established in 2009. Well, there you go. They're DTs. The Chamberlain Madness. <laughs> they just didn't get, did not get that at all. Did not know. I am, um, it is 3.5 units. Visual gravity is 1.074. EBC is 9. IBU is 25. EBC is 9. 8. 8. Sorry, 8. And best before the 25th of May 23. It says all that there and across the back there. I am um, label is basically a it, what looks like a an ibex skull. It's a deer, it's not a deer because it's got straight horns, there's no sort of prongs or anything. Gazelle, maybe. Anyway, there you go. This is the beer I've been looking forward to. I've seen a lot of this on the internet on Insta and on TikTok and on Facebook. There's been a massive um, flood of this beer. Um, anyway, let's pop a top and let's see what we've got. I'm hoping this is going to be the first of another patron series, but we'll see. And yes, I know I'm pouring it into a wrong glass. <clears throat> I've just uh, misplaced the patron's project one for some reason. I don't know where, the, where there is. Anywho, let's get it in. Ridiculously poured. Ridiculously poured, but it sets off the logo. And it sets off the Northern Monk really well. So, um, being a glass, what have we got? As I say, ridiculously poured. Four fingers of densely compact white head. The beer itself is a beautiful, beautiful opaque orange coloured beer. We've got no filters across the bottom, as you can see. It looks great. It looks like a really good double IPA. Let's have a little look what the uh, the sheet says. So we are partnered with the, with the House of Travel of Madness, New York. For a new patients project release, so so hopefully there will be another one. And um, this eight percent double IPA is made with the mosaic incognito, Nelson mosaic citra for that juicy thick hoppy hit, and doesn't say anything else. I um, if they're going to do sort of a patients project with the travel of madness, this we could be in for some really really good beers. Because the travel of madness, haven't been there. They they are they they good guys could guys and girls. If you haven't been there, 
get to York, get to Chamber of Madness. Anyway, let's go get the nose. Ooh. Fruity, juicy, tropical, slightly, a bit of a dankness there. But it's it, it's citrus and it's tropical fruit. Oh, smells really good. Let's go for the body of carbonation. Cheers, my dears. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's lovely. That's lovely. <coughs> Carbonate is light. Body is medium. Yeah, it's medium bodies. It's velvety smooth. It's slick. It's lovely. Sitting in your palate really nicely. Let's go with a big taste. Cheers. That's lovely. <clears throat> that is very nice. Light citrus notes up front, giving it into tropical fruit, giving it to sweetness. It's, it's got a little bit of a um, apricot, peach feel. Got a little bit of melon in there, but it's sweet and juicy melon. Um, cantaloupe, maybe. Honeydew, certainly. And I'm not a lover of melon and beers, but it comes through. Eight percent is really well hidden. It is fruity. It is juicy. It's great. It's excellent. It really is excellent. I mean, I've nearly drank it all. Yeah, that's really good. That's quality, that is. Uh, hopefully, as I say, as I said earlier, hopefully this will be the first of of many with the, with the Tremble and Madness. And we'll get a load of variations. We'll get doubles, we'll get triples, we'll get IPAs, we'll get pails, we'll get a little bit of everything in that sort of seven, seven series. And I hope it's not just a one-off. Because this is really, really well done. That's great. Easy to drink, as you can see. I'd say fruity. There's no sort of dry, dry finish on it, which is which is nice. It makes a nice little change. Um, it is just it's just fruit and juice all the way. Quality beer. Quality beer. So, another monk's patrons project. In collaboration with the House of Tremble and Madness, this is their double IPA with Mosaic Incognito, um, Nelson, Mosaic and Citra. 8%. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Would I recommend to friends without a shadow of a doubt? It is delicious. Um, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Northern Monk website where you can buy this beer. That's how we record this video. Do you like the video? If you don't subscribe down there, of all the beers I've had in this box, this is like open brackets, side segue, um, the Mash Kang was the best, and then it was this. Just saying, close brackets, stay there, stay safe, hell yeah.